Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan, and today I am pretty excited because as you can see here, I have with me the High Boy S2R electric scooter that I'm going to be unboxing, showcasing, and reviewing for all of you. Let's get started. can see um, right out of the box it pretty much comes assembled all you have to really do is hook up the uh, handlebars uh, right here and there are some holes here so I'm assuming that there is a, a screw situation we need to find some screws and uh, always get into the manual the instructions and read them so let's do that now so besides the S2R itself there is in fact an instruction manual with some allen wrenches and some screws and then there's also your charger that will be charging the battery on the s2r so i have opened up the instructions user manual and there's a quick start guide and it shows you steps uh, one through four here what you need to do um, when you first get this thing out of the box and number one tells us that we need to unfold the stem and push it until you hear a click. Then rotate the safety buckle to the appropriate position. So whenever you go to put the handlebars on this, make sure that you pull the black cable outside of this and hook it up to this black cable before you, know, you seat the handlebars in there. All right, so there you have it. That was, uh, I wish all unboxings and assembly would go like that. That was very simple. And just right out of the bat, guys, um, just first impressions. I'm telling you, this thing, I'm not saying that it's like heavy, heavy to where it's like, you know, gonna be a chore or a pain to lug it around and all that. But it is, you can tell it's very well built. It doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel plasticky. Um, I am very impressed just already without doing anything with it, um, the quality of the build on this thing. I really wasn't sure on the accent colors, you know, kind of like the orange, but it's almost kind of um, an orange with a hint of red. It's not like total just neon bright orange, um, which, you know, I'm more of a red guy than an orange guy living in Oklahoma, boomer. Uh, <laughs> had to throw it in. But anyways, um, it, it is sharp, it looks really good. At this point, let's just take a little bit closer look at all of it. Pretty slick. All right, so before we get outside with it and go ride and test it and do all that, um, there's a couple of things that I kind of wanted to point out and show you guys. And then also I wanted to kind of just go over some of the specs and information about the scooter. So you will notice that zip tied on the cables right here, it's gonna be a, um, a couple of keys. Now what these keys go to is there is a place where you can take your battery out, put in, twist, you know how key works. And then this pops up, it's kind of spring loaded. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is your battery. And so as far as charging the battery goes, at first I was not necessarily upset, but kind of almost feeling maybe, I don't know if inconvenience is the word too, but I wasn't really a big fan of having to take the battery out and then, you know, pull back this little orange rubber piece and charge it every time. I was like, I wish I could just plug into the scooter itself and charge the battery. Well, as it turns out, High Boy has thought of everything because you can in fact do that. So I'm going to seat the battery back in. And if you do just wanna you know, charge your scooter like at the scooter, not have to take the battery out, that is what this right here is for. Little orange rubber piece that just you know, folds out and then you can plug your charger in right there. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna have you guys join me on High Boys website and we are on the S2R page and we'll just go over some quick information on it. Um, as you can see right now, at the date that this video was recorded, you can pick it up for $389.99. Shows that uh, it's on sale and the original price was $569.99. You do have some options as far as an extended warranty or product protection. And you see there, you can get it for one year, two years, or three years. So now let's go over some of the features of it. It has a max range of 17 miles. 
and has a 350 watt motor. Now do, guys, do keep in mind that whenever you read things like this, like the range of 17 miles, that's under probably pretty, you know, ideal conditions, meaning you don't have a bigger rider like myself. You got a really young or fit, you know, a thinner person riding it. Um, and, it, and it's going to be the same thing on, you know, the top speed when we get to that. It all depends on who you're riding it. Um, and, you know, if you're doing a lot of stopping and going, a lot of acceleration and braking, like all those things factor in to both the range and the top speed. So and that, that kind of goes without being said, pretty common sense stuff. But, you know, in ideal situations, um, 17 miles is really good out of an electric scooter, you know, especially at this price point. I think we could all agree. And then it has an upgraded detachable battery, which you guys have seen. Um, it will handle, it says, a 15% hill grade. It has uh, e-braking and disc braking. So you'll notice that um, it, back here that we had a actual disc brake, and we know about disc brakes uh, for the you know for the rear end. And then of course it's gonna be the front end that has the e-braking uh, mechanism and it actually has cruise and speed control which is pretty cool because sometimes you know on these scooters um, it's not one where you accelerate by twisting you know the handle grip like this it's it's a little platform where you just kind of push down with your thumb on the right side that's your accelerator and then on the left side it's kind of the same thing but it's orange and it is your front brake your rear brake is going to be on the right handlebar, the little, you know, like we're used to bike levers where you squeeze is your rear brake. So it also does in fact come with an app. You can download the Hi Boy app on your app store. And as you can see here, you will be able to do things such as lock the scooter, uh, update the firmware, set your cruise control, uh, customize your speed, and things of that nature. So so really cool, just blue, it's a Bluetooth situation we have going on here, you can Bluetooth to your scooter from your smartphone. It's 2022, of course you can. And then as we scroll down, you see we have, you know, some regenerative braking system, upgraded detachable battery, um, talks a little bit, um, you know, shows you how the battery kind of looks inside the battery, all the batteries, um, innovative technology, simple, simply spin the key and change the battery for an extra long range. So you can purchase additional batteries. It would be really awesome and ideal you know, to have two or three batteries, um, that'd be really nice. And as you can see, it has a IP54 waterproof rating. So you wouldn't want it to be out in the torrential downpour, uh, but you know, I'm gonna take a little bit of water here now, maybe a little light rain, but it's, you just, you know, you got electric motors and things like that going on down here, the disc braking system. We don't want it to get too wet. So common sense stuff. And one thing I forgot to mention guys on the handlebars is there is in fact a bell. All right, so one more thing real quick. I wanted to show you guys how to basically just fold this down and um, to where, you know, for storage or for, you know, towing or transport, uh, kind of what you want to do and what that looks like. So on this lever, you just want to push up with your thumb, this little part that's on it, pull back, and then this will fold down. And then there's this little part or piece right here that is going to just clip right in. And you'll hear that click, and then you know it's in there. And then, you can just grab the uh, the S2R right there and uh, transport away. 33 pounds, not light, but not you know extremely heavy either. If anything, I'd want my scooter to be a little bit heavier than desirable because that just basically tells you that it's uh, you know it's belt right. So with all that being said, it's finally time to you know do the fun part of this. Let's get outside.
Okay, just real quick, I wanna show you guys how this works. To turn it on, you're just going to simply press it. And then let's say you are riding at night and you need the light on, you're just going to single press it. And now you can see that the light icon is on, indicating that the lights are on. Turn the lights back off, you're just gonna single press again. Now let's say you wanna to switch to sport mode, then you're going to double press the button. And you'll notice that that light turned green up there with the S. To turn sport mode back off, you're just gonna double press again and it turns red. Now to turn the e-scooter off, you're just going to press and hold until it turns off.